Danmark er det som regel selvfølgelig, at man ikke kan komme på toilettet. Men her i Kibeta, som er Nairobi's største slum, er det en helt anden sag. I slum bor en halv million mennesker, og der er cirka kun ét toilet per 200 indbyggere. Derfor rører meget af den menneskelige afføring ud i floden, hvor de også får deres drikkevand fra. Romande Trust har derfor fundet en bæredygtig løsning på problemet. The biogas traded to produce gas. It has been constructed in a way that the human waste, which we call the human investment, is collected into a central point where all the toilets are, are, are directed, they, 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 they collect the waste, and then after that, through an anaerobic system, biogas is collected at the top. So from there, we are able to tap the gas, and then we use it for the other purposes, which is household, and which is for warming water, and other purposes. By use, as you go to the toilet, is only five shillings. You can use a card, uh, which is a paper card, which you swipe. How many biocenters are there in Nairobi? In Nairobi, are 58 biocenters. But in Kibera, we have uh, 22. How often do you use biogas? Daily, from morning to night. Buying charcoal or paraffin is expensive for me. What do you use the biogas for? I use it for cooking food for my school children. So I use it from Monday to Friday, every day. Before we get to the bio center, we had no toilets, so the place was very dirty. And the bio center has removed all the flying toilets and it has made the place very clean. Flying toilet could mean that there is a, a person who did not have a toilet and he went to his own house, used a paper bag. And then they asked to, 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 to actually use, put his waste into that, the human waste. So he went to a toilet into a, a paper bag. And then because he did not have somewhere to dispose it, he would just get out and fry it to any other place. It can land on your head, it can land on anybody's. How does it make a profit? Uh, from these biosanitation facilities, communities make a lot of profit. They are community managed facilities. The one that we have just visited right now earns up to 100,000 shillings per month. 10% that goes for a sanitation development fund, which is a different account that all, all the biosanitation facilities that we have in Kenya contribute this 10% towards this account so that they, they, pull, up, they pull it up together so that they can borrow it and go and go and improve any any related sanitation issue within the locality. The biosensors are helping the community a lot with cooking, with toilet, with clean water, <laughs> so many things. Umanda Trust er bare en af de organisationer, som arbejder på at forbedre bæredygtighed i Kenya, men også på en måde, så selv de fattigste del af befolkningen kan få glæde af det.